बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली जरा बल्य कृपा लगा देना बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली मुझे रोग शोक ने घेर लिया मुझे रोग शोक ने घेर लिया मेरे कष्ट को नाथ मिटा देना बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली मैं तो दास आपका जन्म से हूँ मैं तो दास आपका जन्म से हूँ बालक और शिष्य भी धर्म से हूँ बेशर्म विमुख निज कर्म से हूँ बेशर्म विमुख निज कर्म से हूँ चित्त से मेरा दोष मिटा देना मिटा देना बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली दुर्बल हूँ गरीब बलबीर तेरे आधीन हूँ मैं बलबीर तेरे आधीन हूँ मैं मेरी बिगड़ी हुई तो बना देना बना देना बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली बल दे के मुझे दिल है कर दो बल शक्ति मेरी अक्षय कर दो बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली जरा बल कृपा लगा देना बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली 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 जरा बल्य कृपा लगा देना बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली मुझे रोग शोक ने घेर लिया मुझे रोग शोक ने घेर लिया मेरे कष्ट को नाथ मिटा देना बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली
मैं तो दास आपका जन्म से हूँ मैं तो दास आपका जन्म से हूँ बालक और शिष्य भी धर्म से हूँ बेशर्म विमुख निज कर्म से हूँ बेशर्म विमुख निज कर्म से हूँ चित्त से मेरा दोष मिटा देना मिटा देना बजरंग बली मेरी चली
बलबीर तेरे आधीन हूँ मैं बलबीर तेरे आधीन हूँ मैं मेरी बिगड़ी हुई को बना देना बना देना बजरंग बली मेरी बल दे के मुझे गिर है कर दो बल शक्ति मेरी अक्षय कर दो बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली जरा बल कृपा लगा देना बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली 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 जरा बल कृपा लगा देना बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली मुझे रोग शोक ने घेर लिया मुझे रोग शोक ने घेर लिया कष्ट को दान मिटा देना बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली मैं तो दास मैं तो दास आपका जन्म से हूँ बालक और शिष्य भी धर्म से हूँ बेशर्म विमुख निज कर्म से हूँ बेशर्म विमुख निज कर्म से हूँ चित से मेरा दोष मिटा देना मिटा बजरंग बली मेरी नाम चली दुर्बल हूँ गरीब हूँ दीन हूँ मैं दुर्बल हूँ गरीब हूँ दीन हूँ मैं नित कर बलबीर तेरे आधीन हूँ मैं बलबीर सांचेकवन प्रेम सुषमा पति महादेव की जय वृंदावन भी हरिलाल की जय बजरंग बली की जय अरे स्टाइम वी स्टैंड जो बहुत बिगिन दिस ब्यूटीफुल नाइट दिस इज वाइ वी बहुत जॉइन इन ब्यूटीफुल आरती तो लॉर्ड महावीर स्वामी एंड जो पे ऑफ प्रशेषन और सलूटेशन स्टडी वी कंटिन्यू वंस मोर विथ ब्यूटीफुल अष्ट सिद्धि यात्रा ओम श्री गणेशाय नम ओम श्री सरस्वत नम ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमो नम ओ न 
नम शिवाय ओ नम शिवाय आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला की आरती की जय हनुमान लला की दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला जाके बल से गिरिवार का पे रोग दोष जाके निकटन जाके जाके बल से गिरिवार का पे रोग दोष जाके निकटन जाके अंजनी 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 पुत्र प्रभु सदा सहाय जय श्री राम बजरंग बली देवी जय जय 
जय हनुमान जय 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 हनुमान जय 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 हनुमान जय 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 हनुमान जय 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 हनुमान 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 हनु बजरंग बली की जय आसनी as we take our seats at this time by the blessings of our lord mahavir swami as we continue this beautiful night on our beautiful yatra once more we say swagatam namaskar cordial welcome special jai sita ram to each and every one to all bhaktas and devotees of lord hanuman ji to the members of the celestial gandharvas members of members of my wonderful group who have come together to once more create the vibrations the energy the aura of our lord and once more to all those who tuned in once more via facebook to all of viewers via sankhya television and as well all those who logged on via youtube god you're welcome as we welcome you to our beautiful ashta siddhi yatra another beautiful night in the epic of the divine name shri hanuman ji at this time as you're about to begin the night without further ado let us take this moment to pause to close the eyes sit up right wherever you are in this world forget every single thing that is around you allow the thoughts to once more be focused on that beautiful form of lord hanuman you are mighty lord you are powerful you are filled with that embodied strength and as humble bhaktas and devotees as we begin our worship in your name salutations to you oh सकलगुणनिधानम 
वानरादेश रघुपति प्रिय भक्त वात जात नमा गोष्पते कृतवादेश मसके कृतराक्षसम रायण महामला वंदे नीलाज अंजनानंदन वीर जानकीशोकनाशन कपीशमक्षता वंदे लंका भयक उल्यन्य सिंधु सलिल सलिल यशोकवि जनकात्मजाया आजानते नंका नमा तम प्राजनिया जले मनोजव मारुदतुल्य वेगम जितेन्द्रिय बुद्धिमता वरिष्ठ वाटात्मज वानरयुतमुख्यम श्रीरामदूत शरण प्रभदे ओ श्री हनुमते नम ओ श्री हनुमते नम ओ श्री अनुमते नमः आज वैश्य पावल वाणी इज कॉल बजरंग बली इज कॉल पवन पुत्र इज कॉल द महावीर इज कॉल संकट मोचन इज कॉल द आन जनेया इज कॉल द मारुति एंड इज कॉल द लॉर्ड हनुमान As we praise his name tonight Lord you are our protector Around the world many people see you by many names and many forms And while we your humble bhaktas will assemble once more and sit at your lotus like feet to join in your message to join in your kahanis to remember your glories and pay adorations to your form We join in Shri Hanuman Chalisa श्री गुरुचरण सरोजरज निजमन मुकुर सुधा वर्ण रघुवर विमल जसु जोदायक पलचा बुद्धिहीन तनु जान के सुमिर पवन कुमार बल बुद्धि विद्या देह मुहि हर कलेश विकार जय जय हनुमान गुसाई महावीर बलवंता जय जय हनुमान गुसाई महावीर बलवंता जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर जय कपीश लोक उदागर राम दूता तुलत बल we worship our lord bajranga bali my friends he is known to be the most mightiest and the most powerful of all and while we have assembled to chant his name and to glorify him all together we sing jai jai hanuman gosai mahavir balavanta baba jai jai hanuman gosai mahavir balavanta Oh 
जजने वसाजय शंकर सुवन के सरी नंदन तेज प्रताप महाजगवंदन विद्यावान गुनी अति चातुर राम काज करिबे को आतुर प्रभु चरित्र सुनबे को रसिया राम कण सीता मन बसिया जय जय हनुमान गुसाई महावीर बलवंता बाबा जय हनुमान गुसाई महावीर बलवंता धरी लंक जरावा बिमरूप धरी असुर सनहारी रामचंद्र के काज सवार सायस जीवन लखन जियाए फिर रघुवीर हर शिवर लाए रघुपति की नी बहुत बराई तुम मतिया भरत समवाई सहसवन तुम रोज सगाव हस गये श्री पति कंठ लगावे सरकादिक ब्रह्मादि मुनीषा नारद सारद सहता यम कुबेद दिगपाल जहाते कवि गोविद कै सके कहाते तुम पुकार सुधरी वह की हारम मिलाए राज कर दे जय जय हनुमान गोसाई पवन पुत्र हनुमंत बाबा जय जय हनुमान गोसाई पवन पुत्र हनुमंत
प्रकटे मिते सब पीरा जो स्मिर हनुमत बलबेर जय 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 हनुमान बसाई कृपा कर गुरुदेव की नाई विशत बार पात कर कोई चूत बंदी मात कहो जो यहाँ पर हनुमान चलीसा वे सिद्धि सा की गौरी सा सुशीदास सदारी चेरा पावन तय संकट हरण मंगल मोर तिरो राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय बस हो सुरभ पवन सुत हनुमान की जय एस यू बिगिन दिस ब्यूटिफुल नाइट माई फ्रेंड्स to all those who have accompanied us from day one of our wonderful ashta siddhi yatra tonight we continue to those who remember the kahani of last night it is said lakshmana took it upon himself along with vibhishan on the battlefield to try to destroy indrajit the son of ravana and indeed at the end of the message he destroyed ravana ravana thought he had no more hope he said you know what i've given my best ministers i've tried everybody and today i don't know what is left and while sitting to ponder and to wonder as to what to do next the thought hit his mind but wait a minute i still have two more sons remaining and the katha tells us when mandodri gave birth to these two beautiful little children these wonderful boys ravana looked at them and when he saw the complexion of their skin and he saw the shape of their faces he said to himself they look like serpents i am ashamed to keep children like this and out of shame he took them and he there he placed them on the banks of the ocean and coming from the ocean in itself it is said simhika rakshasi simhika took these my friends two boys took them to the bottom of the ocean and there the gods of the serpents the nagars they took these boys into their arms where did they take them It is said below the earth there are seven hemispheres and above the earth there are also seven hemispheres it is said in the shri ganesh purana when lord ganapati ate 21 different types of food from his mother it was a representation of the seven hemispheres above the seven, seven hemispheres at the base of the earth and the seven oceans there are seven hemispheres above and there are seven hemispheres below When we do the Gayatri Mantra, Om Bhur Bhuvaswaha Tat Savitur Varenyam Bhargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yona Prachodaya Om Bhu Bhuva Swaha Maha Janaha Tapaha Satyam Mahadev. the seven hemispheres above and there are seven hemispheres below and the last of the hemisphere at the base is called patal that is what we call narak that is what we call hell it is so deep we think that when we die we go to heaven and we enjoy the heavens and we come back we think that when we die if we did bad deeds we'll go to the base we'll go to something called hell it is not just right there it is not just beneath the earth like we think we just going to hell seven lokas below the last of it all it is one of the the regions that we are degraded we are defamed we are put down to the worst and to the last of course that's why it's called hell it is the lowest that you can ever think about and while it is the lowest these two boys have been sent to pataloka and they have been grown now in the kingdom of pataloka it is said the raja or the king of patalok he sees these two young boys and he brings them into the ashram he brings them into the palace and he marries them to his daughters and they will grow to be the princes of patalok while they are princes friends they have been summoned they are called ahiravan 
and Mahi Ravan because their father is Ravan. They have been summoned by their father. And last night in our message, while they were called, they have gone to the feet of their father and they said, Pitaji, I know one day you have called for us. As this day has come, whatever you wish, you ask Pitaji and we will be there to help you. And while Ravana is about to send them onto the battlefield to meet Prabhu Ram, to destroy, to have a battle, to have a war, they try to convince him. Ravana, we have heard even in Patal, even in the hellish regions, everybody in hell has heard the Lord Mahavishnu has taken an avatar. Do you really want to fight him? Ravana, you are on the earth and you have been blessed to just see him, just to be in his company, just to hear his voice. And you want to fight? Prabhu, Pitaji, please, why don't you back down and make truce? Why don't you make now friends and work it out? And Ravana says, I didn't bring you for that. Before I destroy you, listen to what I say and carry it out. As we begin our night, Prabhu Ramachandra, night is dawn. He's about to go take his rest. And Lord Hanumanji says, Prabhu, you don't worry. Go into the chambers and you rest and I will take care of you. And while Prabhu, Shiram and Lakshmana, they've gone into their tent and they are about to sleep. Sri Hanuman extends his tail around the entire region of the tents. He sits at the front and he says, Today, I will protect the entire spot of the Suvila mountain. Prabhu, you rest and be assured that nobody can enter while I stay vigil at night. Rama Bolo, Rama Bolo. Bolo, Bolo Ra Rama Bolo, Rama Bolo Bolo, Bolo Ra Jai Shri Ram
moment to join in chanting the name of our Lord. One more time with love. Ram Bolo Ram Bolo 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 Ram Ram Bolo Ram Bolo 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 Ram Bolo, bolo, Ram. Bolo. Vrindavan bhi Harilal ki jai, Bajrang bali ki jai. Lord Hanuman ji sat at the front of the, the front of the Suvela mountain in which all the tents are set up. And when he sits there, while it is dark, it is night, as the Kata had mentioned, Ahiravan and Mahiravan have decided that they will work their plan. So what do they do? Mahiravan can become invisible. Ahiravan says, I will disguise, I will change my form, I will not look like myself, but I will look like somebody else. I will look like Vibhishan. Let us try to enter. So that night, Anumanji is seated there. He's in meditation. His tail has surrounded the entire tent area, but he's in meditative mode and he's chanting. All he does in his life is Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Do Akshar Ka Pyara Naam, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Do Akshar Ka Pyara Naam. अंत में निकला ये परिरा अंत में निकला ये परिरा राम से बरा राम का नाम He will chant the name of God as much as he can. Do you chant the name of God as much as you can? You know, there are people who go by their life and days and weeks are passing by and they don't even remember that there's a God. You know, there are days and weeks that pass by and people are just living. They're just living day by day. Forgetting the world of trouble. Day by day, they're forgetting the simple things that have brought them to where they are. And only when in a crisis and a problem, oh, you know what? I'm supposed to pray. Have you ever heard, heard somebody, and, this, and today when I say this, this has happened so often recently. Have you ever heard that when people are about to do their prayers and their puja, the excuse or the motion or the notion for doing a prayer, well, you know, I want to do a prayer because I didn't do a prayer a long time, so we had to just bless the house. Have you ever heard that people do a prayer because we just didn't do one like five years now, so we just need to do a prayer. It's been time. Why do you pray? What is the purpose of prayer? Why do you worship God? When one bhakta in a puja came to me, he said, Baba, I am not of the religion, but I looked at the way you perform the prayer. And you know what I understood? That Hindu bhaktas and devotees, they pray for a reason. And I acknowledge what the reason was. And I said, what do you acknowledge? How do you know? What are you talking about? Well, when you all sit by this altar that you set up, you have a fig plant there fig plant gives you food not so and then you offer leaves like the dub grass and the neem leaves and you offer the mango leaves the mango tree give you a little fruit too and you place all these these herbs the turmeric the hardy and the sindur which is the combination of both 
the combination of the hardi mixed with lime and so on. And I see everything that you put on the pan leaves and you put some sugar on top of it and you put sweet rice kheer and you make offerings. I know what you all are doing, you know. You all are thanking God for nature, not so? That is the prayers you do. It's a thanksgiving puja. And this was somebody not of the religion. And I said, yes, you're right. Even our bhaktas don't acknowledge that what is really a puja. Thank you, Lord, for the trees that give us fruits. Bhagwan Shri Krishna, Lord Krishna, he taught the world. On that day where he had to lift the Govardhan mountain, he said to the world and he said to his father, he stood up to his father and he says, why do we pray to the gods who are giving us rain and water when even the plants that are actually bearing the fruits, we just ignore them. He says, I'm not telling you to ignore the gods, but also appreciate and show gratitude for the trees that give you fruits. For the animals like the cows that give you milk. For the earth that allows you to walk. For the earth that allows you to plow. When somebody's about to build a house, they'll just go and start digging the earth. The pundit comes and he says a prayer. You know what he's saying? He's saying, Mother Earth, this family is about to build a home. Allow your earth to be workable. So the bakudo end up in problems and then the... The auger stick. And then problems and something break. And you can't finish plowing or digging the earth and the house or the home cannot start building. You do not have blockages. But that day you say, Mother Earth, make yourself workable, please. I'm making offerings to you and you offer milk into the earth. Other offerings as well. Devotees, prayers, most of it, it's about thanking God for everything that we have. You thank God for the earth. You thank God for nature, you thank God for the trees, you thank God for fruits, you thank God for water, you thank God for air, you thank God for everything that you have accomplished, so you do the prayers. And then in the midst of it, the Guru says, take the sankalpa, the promise in your mind, take your name, and now you're saying, Lord, thank you for my strength, thank you for my health, thank you for my family, thank you for my job, thank you for the money that I earn, thank you for food on my table, thank you for a, for a roof over my head, Thank you, Lord, for the ability to be able to even pray to you. Gratitude is the most important thing in the world. Gratitude is a blessing. Today, while we are praising the divine heavens and the gods of the heavens, Bhagwan Shri Krishna, he lifted the Govardhan just like Lord Hanumanji lifted the mountain. And today, as Lord Hanumanji sits there, he's in meditation and all he chants, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram Do Akshar Ka Pyaara Naam Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram Do Akshar Ka Pyaara Naam Radhe Radhe Bo Radhe Radhe Bo बरसाने में दो के मुख से राधे राधे बो। It is said, just like Lord Krishna shows the world how to appreciate life. Pray, my friends, worship the deities, worship the gods, and appreciate life. Start tonight wherever you are. Sit for a second. Create silence in your mind and say, Lord, thank you. Two beautiful words in the world that people find it hard to say. Take a moment and to all those who are tuned in, close your eyes for a second. Think of your house. Think of your car. Think of your job. Think of your children. Think of your friends. Think of your loved ones. Think of your family members, your siblings, your brothers, your sisters, all those who are close to you. Lord, I'm thanking you for everything and for the spot that you've put me in in this world because I know you're looking over me. Radhe Radhe Bol, Radhe Radhe Bol, Barsane Me Do, Mukka Se Radhe Radhe Bol, Radhe Radhe Bol, Radhe Radhe Bol, Barsane Me Do, Mukka Se Radhe Radhe Ram 
मरंगीलो ब्रज धाम मरंगीलो राधा है अनमोल तो मुख्य से राधे राधे बो राधा है अनमोल तो मुख्य से राधे राधे ब्रह्मचल पर्वत मन भायो ब्रह्मचल पर्वत मन भायो राधा कर दिलो के मुख से राधे राधे हो राधा कर दिलो के मुख से राधे राधे हो राधे राधे बोल राधे राधे बोल बरसाने में दो मुख से राधे राधे बोल बरसाने में दो मुख से राधे राधे बोल बरसाने में दो ये मुख से वृंदावन में हरिलाल की जय लॉर्ड हनुमान जी सिद्ध सनी शांतिंग दी नेम ऑफ Lord Ram again and again he's chanting that name and while he's chanting suddenly he is disturbed by Vibhishan Vibhishan says can you please allow me to pass Lord Hanuman and at that point when he opened his eyes and he saw him he says but I didn't know you were outside so he lifted his steel and he allowed Vibhishan to enter at that moment Vibhishan was not Vibhishan it is Ahiravan this guy is changing his form and with him invisible is Mahiravan they have entered into the tents and while they've entered they are sorcerers they are magicians they would have gained their powers by worshiping the devi it is said in the world that we live in at that time as well they would worship the dark form of mother kali called mahabhadra kali mata and worshiping her in a different ritual in a ritual my friends there are sattvic rajasic and tamasic they would have worshipped her in one of the rajasic forms of the mother in which while worshipping her they would have gained the mastery of sorcery after entering through sorcery they made sure all the monkeys and the bears were there they made sure that they would be fast asleep and nobody would get up they decided to go to find the lord prabhu ramachandra and scripture tells us that while looking from tent to tent they entered the right one in which the Lord is lying down. And Lakshmana is also there. And they came up with their plan now. They decided to now create the hole right inside of this tent. And when the hole was created, they snatched the Lord on their shoulders. And they decided to go down deep into Patalo. Seven, my friends. Seven realms down. And while they're going down, nobody knows where they are. Nobody knows where, what has happened to the Lord. But they're searching for him and nobody will find him gradually while the monkeys and the bears will wake up one by one by one suddenly vibhishan comes out and he says hanumanji jai shri ram vibhishan walks up to the lord hanuman and he says jai shri ram hanumanji haven't you seen what is taking place and he wakes up now and he opens his eyes and he looks and he says what do you mean and monkeys are running everywhere they have been broken by the spell and they're running everywhere Hanuman, haven't you seen what has happened? And Hanumanji says, no, the last I remember was when you entered the tent. He says, entered? I've been inside the tent all the time. But then he says, Hanumanji, you know what? I know, I know exactly what has happened. Come, let's go now to this tent. And after running to the tent area, what would they see? A huge hole in which they're about to go into, my friends. And Lord Hanumanji says, he says at this time, don't worry, I will find my Lord. Scripture tells us, Sri Hanuman Ankh, it says, Lord Hanumanji at that point, he held his gada in the air. And he decides to dive into the hole. And he's going down. Jai Sri Ram. Jai Sri Ram. 
Jai Shri Ram. And with the might and the strength and the power of Bajaranga Bali, with the name instilled and etched in his heart, he's going down to the nether regions. He's going down to the nether worlds. He's going down to Patalo. And who is going with him? It is heart enshrined the powerful Lord, Prabhu Ramachandra and Lakshmana. Prem Susma Pati Mahadeva Ki Jai Vrindavan Bihari Lal Ki Jai Lord Hanumanji, he enters Pataluk. And when he enters, listen. It is said as soon as he went down, he's seen the entire region of Pataluk, where to look for the Lord, how to start to find him. So he stops on a tree and he's looking out now. He's vigilant and he's looking out. And while he's looking, he sees two birds. They're flying together. And while they're flying together, one bird says to the other, the one bird whispers in the ear of the other, and the one bird says, Don't worry, my love. I know you're hungry and you're tired and you're thirsty. But I promise you, give it two more days. Haven't you heard? The sorcerers have brought two hermits from above. And in two days, they will sacrifice them. When they sacrifice them before the goddess, Mother Kali, don't worry. I will grab some scraps of the flesh and I will make sure you eat enough to be filled. And there the other bird looked and says, I don't know how long I can wait, but I will wait. And they flew away. And Hanumanji says, oh, so this is what it is. He decides to descend now to the ground and he's walking around. While he's walking around, he's hearing people talking. People are talking of the village that is below. People are walking everywhere. And in Patal, a region where the palace is, there are those who are suffering, but they have created their little villages. And while they will suffer, he overhears one soul speaking to the other and saying, don't worry. In no time, we will get peace of the great one that we've heard. Some God has come down here and after sacrifice, we will get part of their flesh and we will get powers too. And Lord Hanumanji is listening again and he's roaming about in Patal. Do you feel as though sometimes you are walking in Patal? <laughs> Do you feel as though you're walking in Patal Lok where everywhere you go, somebody's telling somebody something about somebody. Somebody's bad talking somebody. Somebody's else speaking someone. Somebody's putting down someone. Someone is coming up with a plan as to how we will make sure he remain right there and nobody rise. Somebody is always speaking about how to put down this one and put down that one and nobody will prosper because everybody wants to prosper and nobody will allow nobody to unless you don't. Why do they have to brand us to say we are crab in a barrel? Why? Why does the world support one another but we don't? In my experience, while I travel, do you know how many people come in a nice manner and say, Baba, you know what? If you need something, let me know. If you need help to find out something, let me know. If you need this, let me know. And then when you come back home, yeah, nah, do help here, you know. If you help, boy, if I tell you about he. <laughs> Why do people brand us to be the crab in the barrel? The world that we live in is only like Patal, where everybody's fighting, everybody, and nobody wants to see nobody work together. Nobody wants to help anybody. We are all for ourselves. Selfish gain, as it is said. Scripture tells us today that while at this time Hanumanji is listening, suddenly now he comes upon one of the gateways that are so big and he wonders to himself, I wonder if this is the palace. How will I know? I wonder if this is the palace. And while he's standing there, he sees the guard that is in front. The guard is now blocking the doorway. Who is the guard? Yes, that little monkey, he's walking back and forth. And while he's walking back and forth, the Sri Hanuman Charitramanas sees in a beautiful child by him. Shri Rama Jai Rama Jai Jai Rama Shri Rama Jai Rama Jai Jai Rama Shri Rama Jai
Friends and bhaktas, it is at this time in our scripture. Hanumanji sees that little bandar and he sees him as the guard, so he doesn't take him on because he's small. So he jumps on to the front in which there's that porch area and then the gateway is there. He jumps and he holds his gada and he says, Jai Shri Ram. And he's about to walk in. And just as he's about to walk in, that little monkey, he walks up to him, Chota Bandar, he walks up and he says, Hey, ka ja ra ho? Where are you going? You can't go there. And Hanumanji says, I'm looking for my Lord. Have you heard of my Lord? Have you heard of Sri Ram, Lakshmana? He says, I won't tell you nothing. Hanumanji says, Are, can't you see my size and my gara? Move from here before I destroy you. I'm going to enter. And that Chota Bandar says, You talk to me like that? You know who I am? I am the son of Lord Hanuman. Hanuman watches and says, what? Son of who? And he started to laugh. And he said he burst out in laughter. And he says, you, the son of Hanuman ji? Are, my Ram Bhakta or my Ram Duta ho. I am Lord Hanuman. I have practiced celibacy. I have no children. I am not married. What are you talking about? And he says, hey, listen to me. Suno na. Listen, Listen. Narad Muni came. You see how I did everything? <laughs> Narad Muni came and he spoke to me. And he says, on that day in which you burned down Lanka, after burning down Lanka, you took your leap and you're about to go back to your Lord. And while you were going back to your Lord, some of your sweat 
it fell into the ocean. According to the Sri Hanuman Charitramanas, it is said his sweat fell into the ocean. According to the Sri Hanuman Ankh, it is said slightly different. Lord Hanumanji, after burning down Lanka, he was slightly bruised by his tail. So he went down to the ocean before he took his leave and he dipped his tail into the water. Both scriptures speak simply something little different. But the connection is the same. It is said as soon as Hanumanji sweat or that piece of blood or that drop of blood fell into the water, a crocodile was passing by. And the crocodile in took everything, whether it's the blood drop, whether it's the drop of sweat, he partook of it and he went his way. And while he's going, not too long after, Ahiravan and Mahiravan, they have gone to the ocean to bring now sacrifice that they will offer to Mahabhadra Kali. And when they pulled up that crocodile, that crocodile looked as though his tummy was little fat. So they cut it open. And out of the tummy, I was born. Lord Hanuman, I am your son. And he said, eh, eh. <laughs> I am your son. But Hanumanji says, well, if Narad Muni tell you, there must be some truth to it. Because Naraji would travel everywhere and he would speak. And he says, today, because you found me, today I will let you know that because I am your son, and because I have come from the womb of a crocodile, to those who know the horoscope well, in the horoscope, you will hear Makarasi or Makarasi or Capricorn. It is said because Makar Rasi Capricorn, Makar means the crocodile. Because he came from the womb of a crocodile. Today, he says, Hanumanji, Pitaji, I put my hands together as I prostrate to you. But today, I'll tell you my name. Paiti Patala Ehiravan Maru Devi Neriyo Bharadhan Rama Devi Reliyo Bharadhan the gift of the Bharadhan to the Divine Mother was about to be given. Makadwaj ko rajati lak diyo Apne putra ka jaan Your son was born, Prabhu. I am your child. Apne putra ka jaan Are jana par kripa karo Oh. Jai Shri Ram. Ram. 
This was his child, his son. He says, okay, since you are my child, you must show me respect. I'm your father. So now, you know, like we say, you use all the convenience. Now that you are my son, tell me, where is Lord Rama and Lakshmana? I don't want to hear your whole story. <laughs> tell me, where is my Prabhu Rama and where is Lakshmana? He says, Hanumanji, Pitaji, Prabhu. Just like you are performing your duty to save your Lord, my duty is to protect these doorways. And if I fail to do my duties, then Ahiravan and Mahiravan, they will destroy me. So, Pitaji, please, I cannot tell you anything more than that. And he took up the gara. Hare, you want to feel one of this? You are my child and you are my son, as you've said. And there, Makadwad says, if you want to enter, then we will have to fight. And if we fight, I will go easy on you, Lord Hanumanji. You are my father, but I will show you that even that which is born from your sweat, how strong and how powerful we can be. A battle is about to begin. The battle is about to ensue between Sri Hanumanji and his son Makadwaj. And right there and then, it is said, they both took their gada and they took their mukdar. And as they started to fight in front of the doorway, it is said one blow after the other. They are fighting, my friends. They are hitting one another. Hanumanji will hit him one blow and then he will come and hit at the foot of Hanumanji, but he's not as powerful. So Hanumanji will say, is that what you call my son and my child? Is that all you've got? And Hanumanji raised the gada in the air and he was about to hit one last blow to destroy him. And then he said to himself, you know what? Maybe he will come in handy one day. He says, child, you're lucky that today you have said to me that you're my son. He put down the gada, he grabbed the mukdar of Makadwaj and he bound them together. And there he took him towards one pillar. And there he started to bend pieces and pieces of the pillar around him. Saying, today, you will not move. I do not want to destroy you. I will go easy on you. He bound him on the pillar. And while he was stuck there, he's asking again and again, please tell me. Tell me, where is my Lord Prabhu? And there, because he was bound, he says, now I can speak, Prabhu. I will tell you where your Lord is. Tomorrow, as morning will dawn, as soon as the sun will rise, Ahiravan and Mahiravan, they will bring these two beings that we've heard about. And they will be taken to the altar of Mother Kali. And there they will be sacrificed and offered in worship to the Divine Mother. They will enter these doorways and behind these doorways, not too far, is the mandir of Shibhadra Kalima. When Lord Hanumanji heard that, he says, okay, I will take my leave now. He wants to enter in such a way that nobody sees him. So despite he heard what and where his Lord will be, he stood beside one pillar and he waited. And while he's waiting, he saw some ladies on the side of the, the mandir. They were making malas. And he decided, I found the most appropriate way. Jai Shri Ram. He decided to now become minute and small, like the size of a mosquito. And there he went and he sat between one of the flower in the mala. I better check my mala boy. <laughs> and he sat between the mala and he waited there because he knew in order to not gather any attention, 
when the malas would be taken for worship, I would be able to enter without anybody noticing me. He sat there in the mall and he waited. And morning is coming. And while morning is coming near, he realizes that now the women who have made the malas, they are putting everything together and they are preparing now to go into the mandir. And while they've taken everything into the mandir, devotees, Lord Hanumanji has entered the mandir area. And while he's on the inside, scripture tells us at this time, he simply jumps out of the mala and he goes and he sees Mother Kali. And when he sees the mother, he puts his hands together and he says, Maya, only you can help us today. Ma, you are mother of the universe. You are mother of the this entire cosmos. And while we, I will pray to you today, please guide me. Jayanti Mangala Kali Badra Kali Kapalani Durga Akshama Shivadatri Swaha Swadana Mostute Om Dum Durga Yanamaha Om Shibadra Kali Devi Mata Yanamaha Om Namushanika Yanamaha and he prostrates and he jumps out of the mala and he goes behind the murti and he stands there and he's waiting now. And while he's waiting, everybody have left the mandir. And now Ahiravan and Mahiravan, they are bringing my friends. They are bringing these two bodies. And with the two bodies, they are bringing them. Prabhu, Rama, Chandra and Lakshmana, they are not there, but they have been casted a spell upon. So they can't open their eyes, they are bound. Lord Hanumanji sees them on the shoulders of two Rakshasas and they would have been brought by the altar and they were just thrown in front of Mother Kali. Onto the side, they were thrown and they were pushed to the side. And now Ahiravan and Mahiravan, they've said to one another, everybody who's there, they're saying, bring the offerings of the fruits. Bring the offerings and let us offer it to the mother. And while they've brought the offerings, they're placing it in front of Mother Kali and they're, they're glorifying the mother. They're worshipping the goddess. And they're worshipping Devi Mata. Hanumanji plays a trick and he plays his role. When they place the offerings of fruits and they turn around to bring more, he grabs some of the fruits and he starts to partake behind the murti. When he starts to eat, when they turn back to put the tarya and the rest of the offerings, they realize, but wait a minute, Mother Kali, you today for the first time, you actually ate out everything so fast? Probably the mother is hungry. Everybody bring more and bring fast. And they're bringing as much as they can. And when they would put it and turn around and come again, it's gone. <laughs> you see appetite? Hanumanji is eating and he's filling his tummy. And while he's eating, after they've brought all the offerings, they're beginning their worship. They pick up the lambs, the arti, and they're worshiping the mother like this. Om Kali Kali Mahakali. काली के परमेश्वरी सर्वनंद करे देवी नारायणी नमोस्तुते जय देवी महाकाली रे जय देवी महाकाली रे इन औरत तो वेशिप दी देवी देव ब्रोड देव ड्रम्स देव ब्रोड देव इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स Hanumanji is only peeking to make sure that Prabhu Ram and Lakshmana they are okay. But even at that point, he's looking at them. And this is how they will worship the mother. Badra Kali Devi Mata Ki Jai! Jai Devi Mahakali Devi Ramma 
विश्व शिव स्वरूप have been pleased and while he has partook of it they feel happy and they feel contented and they say ma now we will give you the greatest gift ravana our father has said that if we could give you the greatest gift which is the incarnation of god on the earth then anything that we want you will grant us we want power we want strength we want to become invincible we want that the world will never be able to touch us and then i ask a beautiful question if God were to come before you and say, ask for what you want, what will you ask for? While many people will ask for things in the world that will not last forever, wealth, money, strength, power, what will you ask for? Think about it. Think about it. Because who knows? Maybe tonight you might dream him. Maybe a sign will come your way. Maybe God might speak back to you. What will you say? If you're given the opportunity, Umapati Mahadeva ki jai. At this time, friends, while Lord Hanumanji waits for the opportune moment, they have brought the body of Prabhu Ramachandra and Lakshmana. And having brought the bodies, he waits and he comes up with a plan. And this is the plan. As though he acted like Mother Kali, he shouted out, Ahiravan, Mahiravan. I am satisfied with the fruits that you've given to me. But at this time as you've brought these bodies, I'm even more satisfied. But in order for me to partake or to accept this offering, I want everybody to leave the mandir. 
Everybody leave. Shut the door for a few moments so that I can enjoy this offering. Lord Hanumanji, even then, he came up with his trick. And knowing that all the fruits had been partook, taken off, they decided that they will leave. They allowed everybody to leave. They walked outside and they closed the door. And when they closed the door to the mandir, Hanumanji found the right moment. Jai Shri Ram! And he came out from behind the murti and he started to untie the Lord. And there holding the Lord with his energy and his aura only. The Lord started to regain his consciousness, but little. Not too much, but little. And while he will regain his consciousness, it is at that point, Hanumanji is ready to take back the Lord. But before he will take back the Lord, with a little noise and a commotion that is taking place, Ahiravan and Mahiravan realizes now that they have been tricked. And being that they've been tricked, they've decided to open back the door. And when they open the door and they look at the murti, who do they see? Lord Hanumanji is there. Prabhu Ramachandra, he could barely sit properly, but he is there. He's seeing Lakshmana and he says today, you will now feel my pain. You will now feel our anger. And you will understand the strength of Ahiravan and Mahiravan. Hanumanji remembered the words that was uttered in his mind on that day. And what was the words, my friends? It was uttered on that day when he captured his son and his son whispered in the air. And he says, Pitaji, I will tell you the secret. And the secret to destroy them lies in the five lights that are in front. A battle is about to begin, my friends. And while blow after blow from one end to the other, it is said Hanumanji is fighting, and there are two of them, Ahiravan, Mahiravan, one blow after the other, back and forth, and while they're fighting, he remembers now what he must do. So he stands there, he closes his eyes, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram. And at that point, our scripture tells us, the Lord starts to shine from within. It is said our light starts to emanate from within, Lord Hanumanji. And from all the directions, bursting from the heart of Bajrangabali, that most powerful form, that supreme form of Mahavir Swami, is none other than Panch Mukha Hanumanji, in the form of Garuda, in the form of Narasimha, in the form of Hayagriv, in the form of Varaha, and in the form of Pawanaputra, bursting in all directions, my friends. And it is said, coming from the body of Lord Hanumanji, Panch Mukha Hanumanji, heading in all the directions to destroy the light immediately. And as soon as the lights were out, immediately they will fall to the floor. And all the gods of the heavens, they will notice that mighty form, powerful form of Bajrangabali. Pauna Sutta Hanuman Aki, Bajrangabali Ki. Kabalo ke hamre kabariya ho. Kabalo ke hamre kabariya ho bajaranga bali. Kabalo ke hamre kabariya ho. Jai Shri Ram. Kabalo ke hamre kabariya ho bajaranga bali. Kabalo ke hamre kabariya ho bajaranga bali. Bajaranga bali. Bajaranga Bali, Bajaranga Bali, Bajaranga Bali, Bajaranga Bali, Kabalo ke hamare kabariya ho. Kaliyo ke kapala bicha na chore, bicha na chore Rama bicha na chore. Paga paga paap ki gatariya ho, paga paga paap ki gatariya ho, bajaranga bali, kablo ki hamre kabariya ho. Jai Shri Ram. Ram naam gan karhu kamai, karhu kamai prabhu karhu kamai. Karhu Kamai, Karhu Kamai, Prabhu Karhu Kamai. 
that you can think of mahavir swami bajrang bali it is said i agree varaha garur narsimha pavana putra these most powerful forms if you can notice when you look at our wonderful form of lord hanuman ji and even in the murti right in front of me these five most powerful forms that can protect us from anything in the world it is said on that day when he burst into the five forms he was facing the southern direction that is why it is said it is very important to keep this murti or this picture with the five faces facing south everything bad comes from the south untimely death comes from the south the god of death comes from the south sickness illness comes from the south so if you can have him facing south If you're gonna have him facing south, then nothing bad can come your way. In your homes, wherever your house or however your house is situated, at some point, maybe above the doorway or maybe in your altar, even though the other murtis may be facing different, that five-faced form is important to be facing south. From southern direction, he will eradicate all the troubles. It is said, according to the different faces that the Lord has, it is said on the eastern direction. is the anjaniya mukka his original form of lord hanuman ji with this face it removes all types of sins and it conquers the negativity that tries to imp bring impurities to the mind it creates pureness and goodness in the thoughts of a bhakta in the face that is facing south which is narasimha we all know of that face very soon we will be celebrating bagwa holi and we'll hear from narasimha that form it is said that face that is facing south removes the fear of enemies and it conquers or it creates victory in the heart of anyone who prays to him it is said to the face of the western direction lord garuda he drives away evil spells black magic 
He removes poisonous effects from one's body. To the one who worships Varaha Devta, that face, my friends, it removes bad influences and planetary effects and it creates prosperity in your life. It is said, by worshipping Hayagriv, he bestows knowledge, victory, success, progeny. Anything positive comes your way. Five powerful forms of Lord Hanumanji. And with these five forms, he was able to destroy none other than the Rakshasas by the name of Ahiravan and Mahiravan. Scripture tells us something very or slightly different. If you can understand, part of our Sri Hanuman Yatra or the Ashtasiddhi Yatra is about connecting the Tulsi Krit Ramayana with Valmiki Krit Ramayana, Adhyatma Ramayana, Sri Hanuman Charitramanas, Sri Hanuman Ankh. While Lord Hanumanji heard in the Sri Hanuman Ankh, he heard that to destroy Ahiravan and Mahiravan, you will have to out the lights. He heard it from the lips of Makadvaj. In the Sri Hanuman Charitramana, something is slightly different. It is said while preparations were being done for the sacrifice, the wife of Ahiravan, she came to the altar and she was fixing the altar. Listen to something that is very different. It is said the wife of Ahiravan was the daughter of Nagdev, Sheshnag. Not like Ananta, but from the Nag crew, the king of the Nagas. At that point, she was married to Ahiravan. When she saw Lord Hanumanji there, she wasn't in agreement as to destroying the lives of the Lord's incarnated form. So she spoke to Lord Hanumanji that day when she entered and she spotted him. Hanumanji begs, please tell me how to destroy them and how to retrieve once more my Lord. And she says, I will only tell you if you promise me I could get married to that one called Ram. This is in Sri Hanuman Ankh. And Lord Hanumanji thinks about it. And when he thinks about it, he says, I can give you my word that I will ask. But as for now, I can't see. Sri Hanuman Ankh connects now to say that when the Lord, we, he came back from his consciousness, Lord Hanumanji speaks now and he says, Prabhu, this is what has happened. This Nag daughter, this Nag Devi, she's requesting to become wed to you and she wants to become married and that is why I got to find out because she said, in order to retrieve you, I will have to all these five lights. Lord, what will you do? And the Lord says at that point, He says, let her know that you will fulfill the promise that you have given to her. And in my next life, I will become married to her. Jai Bhagwan. <laughs> How? On that day when Bhagwan Shri Krishna in Bhagavatam, when he captured the 16,000 of them and he danced in the wonderful Raslila dance, he then created an image of himself for 16,000 gopis who were dancing. All of them envisioned Lord Krishna as their own. But when she, my friends, opened her eyes and she saw Prabhu in front of her, he reminded her as one of the 16,000, today when I dance with you, this is not an ordinary dance, but it will be a dance of wedlock. I will be married to you at this very moment. But understand, I am marrying you only to fulfill this destiny. For when I leave, I must go back to my Radha. In the Ras Lila dance, it is said, according to some of the different authors of the Bhagavatam, Bhagwan Shri Krishna, he didn't just dance with the 16,000 gopis, but he was married to the 16,000 of them by performing the dance. Because one on one, he created the aura and the energy because he had the ability to. Now that doesn't mean a man could have 16,000 wives. You all to listen carefully. <laughs> he is Bhagwan Govinda. He made replicas of himself. And to fulfill a promise, this is what he had to do. Taken from the Sri Hanuman Ankh. As the Katha continues now, Lord Hanumanji, he says, Prabhu, mount yourself on my shoulder. 
you cannot walk back now i won't allow you to go back like this but today i will take you back and prabhu ramachandra is still in a soon he sits on his shoulder lord hanuman ji and dear lakshmana sits on the other end and before he could take a sleep and go back now to the realms of the earth prabhu ram is sitting there and before hanuman ji could make the leap he touches him on his shoulder he says hanuman ji are who is that little monkey tied up there still and hanuman ji says oh prabhu that is a long story <laughs> prabhu that is my son and prabhu looked at him what will you go tell me the story when you go up who is that and because hanuman ji says that is my son lord ramachandra he says well before we leave out of respect take the crown that have fallen from the head of ahiravan place it on the head of makadvaj and today we will pronounce him the king of the nether worlds and in other region so that whenever you need assistance your son will be the head of patalok at that point after giving the crown they are about to go back now to the mrityu loka to the normal loka back to the battlefield ravana has heard as what to hap- what has happened and he's become an easy now and he's pacing up and down and while he's pacing up and down he's wondering what to do next what will i do i've run out of options i don't know what to do anymore i've lost all my sons i've lost all the options what do i do to win this war and decides now in the time of help in a need in which you want to need help in the world who do you turn to when you have a problem who do you turn to aao guru de well jai bhagwan you fight our whole war <laughs> and you know thinking well you know what let me go and look for my guru and ask for help now we must look for the guru's help before we start the endeavor before we start the journey before we do anything we turn to our preceptors and say here's what i wanted to do this i want to do that what do you think gurudev advise me what is the best way what should i do but you fight and you lose and you lose and you lose and now aao gurudev so he goes to his guru and when he goes the guru says listen sit there i will read your patra for you i will check your stars and i will tell you what is about to happen and he's looking at ravana and he's about to now read him out ravana show me your hands and the guru looks and he covers his mouth and he says two more days this war will continue for this war will go for two more days ravana he says tell me come on what will happen tell me i will win and while he's frustrated and he's seated at the feet of his guru coming from pataalu lord hanuman ji is is making his way back up and while he's coming up all the gods have waited for this moment the bandars the monkeys the bears jamwan nal neel sugri vibhishan they waiting on the earth and suddenly they will hear the voice of the lord and they will spot at that point the peak and the tip of the gada jai shri ram jai shri ram jai shri ram because victory has come as long as hanuman ji stands there will be victory according to vibhishan if hanuman ji wins if hanuman ji is alive the war my friends will continue and their lord ram will survive pavana sudha hanuman ki jai bajrang bali ki jai he brings back the lord to the earth and they celebrating their victory and while they are preparing now for war lord rama says it is time to put an end the guru says two more days for the war and he looks deep into the hands of ravana and he says let me tell you what i see but tomorrow you will see what was written on the destiny of ravana pavana sudha hanuman ki bajrang bali ki jai what is written in your destiny do you know do you know how long you will live for do you know what is on your path do you know what is written on your face astrologically at the base of your feet in your hand what is to be what is not to be 
Why are you going through what you're going through? Why are you so happy in life? Why are you so down in life? Why you have ups and downs? Why anything is happening to you? Well, tomorrow night, we will find out. At this time, wherever you are, take a moment. And this is where we join in our beautiful Sri Hanumanji Arati. Let us stand. Arati ki jai Hanuman alala ki Dushta dalana raguna takala ki Arati ki jai Hanuman
मम देव देव तमीव सर्व मम देव देव ओ शांति 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 हरिओ As we conclude a beautiful night, remember to join us tomorrow night as we will continue with our wonderful message taken from the Holy Scripture, the Shri Hanuman Charitramanas and the Shri Hanuman Ang. Bhagwan's blessings to each and everyone. Jai Bajrangabali.